Boom, boom, Mrs. Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little Azure Lane up today. So the uh, Universe in Unison event is going to be ending tomorrow. So you want to make sure that you um, get in there uh, this evening and tomorrow. Um, tomorrow evening, uh, tomorrow night actually, is when the actual um, uh, event will be ending and the, the new event will be popping up in the update. Um, so uh, that's tomorrow, 11, 11. So make sure that you get in there because it's a really, really, really good event. They've got some really excellent ships in here. Um, you can get uh, Lamalin from here. Now, this this requires, this is a, one of those seven day events for each day, something, uh, a new one to pop up. So um, make sure you, you keep on that if uh, hopefully you've got enough to complete it to, for the seven days. Um, this one right here was just to get uh, Lustrious. Lustrious is a significant upgrade over her actual um, over her actual uh, original ship, Illustrious. She's got a lot more firepower, so uh, you might want to consider that for uh, HMS fleet. This has also got the Sacred Lumiere, which is a gear piece that's in here as well, too. Um, the Sacred Lumiere is at... Sacred Lumiere is at 19, which is at 8,000. And then at 10,000, you get your first copy of Illustrious. And then there's multiple copies of her. Um, so you want to make sure that you get that from there. Uh, Rune is in the shop. If you go to you go to munitions, and then she's right here. Five copies of her, eight thousand. I'm not really going to focus on her because I have the original Rune, which is a priority ship. Um, she's got a little bit more offensive capability than Rune, but uh, it, it, you know, Rune's priority. Um, I've got her fully maxed, so um, she's going to be what I'm sticking with in that terms. I do still need to get uh, do some more farming because I want to want to make sure I pick up a copy of this uh, uh, tomorrow as well. So I'm going to run. Run enough to get about 2,000 there. Should have to run it a few times. Um, so that's that's what I'm looking for in that terms. Um, the other ships were excellent as well, too. There were some, some really good setups in here. Um, so let's see what we got. Now, I already talked about Lamalan. She's an upgrade over her original ship, Lamalan U is. She's a destroyer, so there's not really a meta for them at this time. But she's much better than her original ship. So if you're running a, a Vichy Dominion or an uh, uh, a fleet, a French fleet, you know, it, this might be something that you want to uh, uh, plug in there uh, in place of the current Lamalan because she is an upgrade uh, significant as well. Dito, Dito U has an interesting skill set. Um, she also has uh, a thing where that she she, um, she combines with um, her another Dito. So if you put if you put uh, two Dito's, Dito's in there. You can get an actual buff, so uh, that's what a lot of people are looking at, and, and something. Um, so there's a lot of people considering to run a dual Dito fleet. So that's something to look at as well. Um, so, but yeah, so if you're looking for that, uh, this might be something that you want to put in your HMS fleet um, because she's got uh, she's got a pretty good um, a pretty good setup, uh, and uh, that'll make her interesting. And she's a, she's about not really much of an upgrade over over the original Dito, but about level, uh, maybe maybe because of the skill set, she might just be a little bit better, but uh, difficult to say. Um, so Tehu Tehu is uh, uh, one of the steals from this as well. Um, Tehu has an interesting uh, an interesting buff uh, at the start of this battle. This ship's AVI increases by three percent, and I'm only at level four, so this is going to this is going to increase dramatically. Um, I think it's like 15% at full uh, for each additional Muse ship. So if you stick her in there, and, I, and then you got all those gear items. You remember all those gear items that, that they were showing that I showed you in the uh, the, vid the, the video I did a couple of days ago? Um, those gear pieces in there um, have the ability to set. Um, so you've got this classified as a U. So you put this on a ship, it's going to make it a U ship. And you put this on a ship, and it's going to make it a U ship. Okay. Uh, these right here offer buffs to uh, you know anti-air and stuff like that. So these are a good thing. But if you put these pieces on a ship, you could make you could make them U ships. So she will get an aviation buff. So if you put one of those on say Nagato, and put one on Shinano in the backfield. You'll, you'll have uh, you'll be able to get uh, two buffs off of those ships um, combined with Shinano's skill which 
So, so current impact decreases the damage this ship takes from against an aircraft by 20, increases aviation, that's your carrier stat, and accuracy, always a good buff for an aircraft carrier, by 15% for all of your Sakura Empire CV. Shinano is a CV. Uh, no, um, so Taihu is a CV. So she's going to get that buff as well, combined with the aviation buff from the U ship um, scale, combined with another 15% given to you by Shinano. So that's going to make tremendously powerful um, aircraft carrier, making Tahu an extremely powerful carrier, which is why um, everybody's talking about making her, um, uh, if you're lacking a Kagi, you can go with, uh, you know, Nagato as the flagship, Shinano and Tehu on the flanks, which is what I'm going to be doing. So we'll get a chance to see how well that fleet works out. Um, and, you know, both Tehu uh, and, and Shinano are still going to get the, they're going to get the buffs from, from Nagato because they are, they are, even though they're Mew ships, they are still IGN ships. Um, so they're still a member of the IGN fleet, so they're still eligible for the Nagato buff as well. So, yeah, it's definitely definitely going to be a very powerful fleet. So um, uh, combined with that, I think pretty good setup. We're going to see how it works out, though. Uh, I will be starting to use it here shortly. So we'll, we'll do some videos on it. Take a look see how everything goes. All right. Uh, what other ships do we have here? Let's go back into the dock. Okay, Albacore. Yeah, Albacore. Um, substandard SR. A uh, little bit on the low side. Not very. Not not much of an upgrade on the original Albacore. I would stick with the original if you already have her leveled up. Illustrious she uses steel. Um, she's better than her original version. A uh, lot more damage. Um, this that was one of the things that that made Illustrious not so much of a choice in terms of an aircraft carrier, but she really just didn't do much damage. This is fixed with Illustrious U. Um, she's definitely the best ship uh, in terms of, in this event, in terms of just a straight ship. Tahu, as in my consideration, is the best ship that you can get from the, simply because I need her. <laughs> if you've got Nagato uh, you know, with the Kagi and Kaga on the flanks, you probably don't have to worry about Tehu. She's definitely not um, what you want to be, you know, you've already got a good setup, but I was lacking a setup to go with Shinano and Nagato. Uh, I, there really wasn't that much in the in the terms of IG and ships that you could go with that would um, that would be, you know, an upgrade that that would really enhance a fleet immensely. Uh, Tahu will do that, so that was what I was looking for. But Illustrious is an excellent upgrade. So if you do have Illustrious into HMS fleet, you might want to consider upgrading. And put an illustrious shoe in there. Uh, Tashkent, her uh, original version um, is better. Um, it, th they have the similar skill set, but the original Tashkent just has a little bit better skill in terms of uh, the, the the familiar that it sums up. Baltimore U, um, or Baltimore Reginald, Baltimore is just better uh, all around. So there's no no need to look very far for that. Um, Rune, 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 the original Rune is a priority ship, so. There's not much you can do in terms of an upgrade. Um, there's uh, Rune used slightly more uh, on the offensive side a little bit, but in the end, the original Rune is just better. She's a priority ship. Once you get her fully developed, um, she beats uh, she beats Rune. But if you do not have the Rune priority ship, you might want to consider getting this one. She'd make an excellent addition uh, to your fleet. So something to look at. So this ends tomorrow. So get in there and farm everything that you need. Uh, get it all cleaned up uh, so that when the event comes out tomorrow night, uh, you won't have missed anything. Throw the build, okay? So you just need to really worry about uh, Baltimore, Tehu, and, and Albacore, and Tashkent. These four have to be built, okay? Uh, you can get Dito. Uh, I'm sorry. All of these have to be built. Um, you get you get the Balin, an illustrious from the vents and you get root in the shop. Uh, all other of these have to be built. So just throw as many cubes at it as you can. Uh, definitely try to get them. I mean, if you're not gonna use them, like I say, the Tashkent, Albacore, and the Baltimore are not better than their their original ships, but just for collector purposes. Or if you wanna make a Muse fleet. Now you remember, you can combine these with Polaris, uh, Polaris ships because Polaris are used ships as well too. So you might be able to you know, make some type of a nice little fleet uh, for the U. I'm sure we're going to see some veterans trying to make up a U fleet. Uh, I might in the future, since I've got all the ships that will be required to make one, but I really need to work on my IGN fleet. I want to get my IGN fleet 
um, Stoken by the time Operation Soured comes out, which should be the beginning of the year. So right now I'm just polishing up my HMS fleet. So my, my, uh, I'll give you a quick update on my formations here, just so you know. Um, I'm going to have Yuka Kaz, uh, uh, Takeo, and Atagi in the front. Okay. I love the way she jumps off the screen there. <laughs> and then at the backfield, I'm going to have Nagato, uh, and then Shinano, and Tehu on the flanks. And that'll be my Sakura fleet. Uh, so that's all set up. I've already got my in-game fleet. This is my uh, 12 and 13 uh, primary fleet, simply because it's got Sandy Retrofit in here. Who annihilates our aircraft uh, and uh, 13 especially um, air uh, air superiority um, is, is an important facet that needs to be controlled so having San Diego retrofit who is the best still the best Dito's good Dito you good good anti-air ship don't want to forget that uh, if you do not have Sandy you want to get Dito you okay that's just the way it goes uh, San Diego retrofit retrofitted understand you need to have a retrofit, but a lot of people don't have a retrofit because the only way to retrofit her requires her, her microphone, a specialty item, which is only available during certain times. They have to have certain events um, before this, you'll actually be able to get the mic. Uh, and if you can't, then you can't retrofit her. So in that case, you got Dito U. Dito U, if you build her, you're in good shape because she has an excellent anti-air stat. She's com not quite comparable, um, a little bit less than what offered by um, uh, Sandy Retrofit, but still an upgrade and be an excellent ship for 13. So definitely focus on Dito if you're lacking the, the Sandy Retrofit. Um, right now I've been focusing on getting these ships up. I mean, I've got War Sprite and Queen Elizabeth up to 120. Um, but I really want to get uh, Edinburgh, uh, Javelin and Belfast up to 120 as well. So I'm just throwing them in, doing some, some stuff with them right now to get their points up. Um, uh, you know, Iron Blood Fleet's done, as you can see. This is your Iron Blood Fleet here. Now, I'm going to be substituting FDG, who is the most powerful ship in the game, uh, for a Graf Zeppelin up here. Um, so my backfield is going to be Bismarck, uh, Turpets, and then uh, FDG. Frontline, I'm going to be replacing um, Z-23. She's a destroyer, okay? There's no better for destroyers. Destroyers, there's nothing you can do to prevent destroyers or light armor or light armor so they're going to get annihilated whenever they get hit they're going to take damage it shows um i'll go through the five ammo clips these two will be they'll have a little bit of damage but she's probably at half she sometimes dies too <laughs> and yeah i've found no way to prevent it um so i'm going to replace her with mains i'm in the process of working on the priority ship mains uh to substitute for her and i'll have an excellent formidable front line um the in terms of uh tank this is a tank front line right here with these two throwing mains in there because mains has shields as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that's what I'm putting mains in there. So that'll help out immensely from that point of view as well. So that's those are my fleets. And then the IGN fleet will, will, will be, that'll be which, what, what I'll be showing next. Um, you'll be seeing that run for a couple. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to have time to finish out um, mains, unfortunately. Simply because I don't really have enough time. I mean, I've got her. I've, I've almost got the data collection done on the first one, but I've still got the two million to go. Uh, so I, I'm not going to have quite time to do it. So we're just going to have to sub. FDG is almost ready. Um, I've still got to get a lot of blueprints for her, but I've almost got her maxed out. She's at 100 right now, and I just awakened her, so I'll be able to go up to 100. I'll be able to get her up, you know, fully lifted, but she won't be quite full stars, but she'll still be um, a significant up upgrade over Graf Zeppelin. Uh, in terms of her, you know, I got all gold equipment on her, uh, and she'll be set up to good to go. But I'm probably not going to be able to get Bane set up by the time uh, Operation Siren rolls around. But like I say, Operation Siren is going to be, uh, main focus is going to be, um, you know, for Operation Siren, it's going to be the IGN fleet. And I've got everything I need. They're all ready to go. Um, I've got uh, enough mats to bring Tehu up to full, fully limit broke, and Shinano. Uh, I am really close to getting the 4,000 needed to purchase the um, UR prototype here. I'm at 3578, so I'll have that uh, sometime, hopefully, within the next few weeks. Then that'll be enabled me to purchase. I've already got one of these, but I need one more to do the final limit break. It requires two bolins to do the final limit break. So once I get to this one, then I'll be able to fully limit break Shinano, and she will be completely ready because I've already got her up pretty high as well, too. Yeah, Shinano is at 99. 
and as you can see, FTG is at 100. So, so uh, my next, you know, and then uh, take, I've got enough mats to bring her up to fully limit brokers. No, two, I'll need three more, and I have four. So, yeah, one for here, and then two for the final. You don't need three. I've got four, so I'm all set to get these two fully limit broke. So it's just a matter right now of leveling them up, and I'm using them in the 1200 fleet, 1200 uh, experience fleet, the 18,000 uh, experience fleet cost 1200 gold. I'm 1200 oil. I'm running that with those um, as we speak. So they'll be ready when time comes. So probably within the next maybe a week or two, two weeks, I'll be able to start running that fleet and leveling it up so that it's ready. And then I'll have enough fleets uh, for Operation Siren because that's, you know, when, when Operation Siren hits, we're going to be talking at a level of cat increase as well as an increase in weapon um, enhancements. Uh, and a lot of the items that you need to do that is inside of the Operation Siren event. So we're going to need to have some fleets in there that can knock it out. So it's an open world type event. So it's going to be pretty interesting and, and it should be pretty fun. Uh, a different kind of game mode is what they're, they're actually calling it, a game mode. Apparently, they're just going to be sticking a slot for it. You'll say Operation Siren here in the center, and it'll be open all the time. It's not going to close, so it'll always be there, and you'll always be able to go into it whenever you need to. So as you work your fleets up and get your fleet stronger, you'll be able to progress through farther and get some of the materials that are going to be required to uh, level up you know, your items and stuff. There's like gold plates and stuff that's going to be needed to that. Apparently, it's some of the stuff that you're going to need to make to go past into that next level, next level is not is only going to be obtainable through that gameplay mode. So that's why you want to make sure that you have a couple of fleets. The the way they're talking is you'll have access to your to your dock while you're inside the Operation Siren game mode. So you'll be able to you know bring in different fleets. So having a couple of fleets is always going to be helpful. Uh, I wanted to have a, my my main goal was to have four fleets. I wanted to have an Iron Blood fleet. I wanted to have uh, a U.S. in-game fleet, uh, an HMS fleet, and an IGN fleet. Uh, and IGN is the only fleet that's really left uh, that needs to, you know, that needs any work done on it. I, I, HMS fleet. I'm running. I'm just using my HMS ships in inside of PvP right now, and they gained a lot of experience that way. So that I should have them ready to go by the time it comes up. I can also. Uh, Make, you know make adjustments and stuff for instance um, I've got if you look at this fleet right here formation um, I've got monarch that I could sub in here in place of hood so I'd have monarch in here she's a priority ship uh, superpower ship but she's already at 120 fully developed and fully broke so I can I, you know I've got something to replace here um, so it just mainly just focusing on uh, these three for the front line uh, and I might end up uh, you know sub substituting um, Dito uh, in here for the front so you know it's still uh, that HMS feet still a little bit of work in progress but I've got something that that should be sufficient for for the time being uh, and the other three fleets are, are fully maxed out at 120 so it's just a matter of getting them out there and knocking them out okay so um, that's it I just want to get out get in there and knock out uh, everything on the event because it ends tomorrow so uh, thanks a lot for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Once you've subscribed, you'll see a bell. If you click on the bell, you get notified each time I drop a video. So this is Ken Rick coming at you from the corner, signing out.